What's going on YouTube, Geosan right here. So in today's video, we're going to do a quick recap on what's currently going on with the iOS 15 jailbreak. And of course the iOS 14.7, 14.7.1, 14.8 and 14.6 and so on. So if you're not in the loop and of course it's been a while since I made an update, I'm going to tell you exactly on which version to stay for the moment. And of course what developments have happened in the community. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device, manage your photos, music, videos and apps, and of course switch data from a device to another. Definitely check it out in the link below. So for those of you who haven't been in the loop for a while, and of course I haven't made an update for jailbreak stuff in a while because there isn't much new, iOS 15.1.1 and iOS 15.1 are currently the latest signed versions, and of course 15.1.1 may not be available for all devices. Now the 15.1.1 is a minor version, so if you're running 15.1 and you update the 15.1.1, there shouldn't be much of a problem in terms of jailbreaking. 15.1.1 basically just patches a bug with calls dropping on some devices like the iPhone 13 and so on. Now if you're running iOS 14.3, 14.2 and so on, you can jailbreak of course with Uncover, but the Untether is not currently available for that. If you want to use the Untether, you can use it on 14.4, 14.5 and 14.5.1, but not 14.3 for the moment. There were plans to update the Fugu 14, which is the Untether created by Linus Hansi and integrated in Uncover to work with 14.3, but that never happened. So for now, if you're running 14.3 or lower, you cannot use the Untether. Now, if you're running 14.6 or newer, you're going to have to wait for another exploit. Of course, if your device is CheckRain compatible, you can use CheckRain all the way up to iOS 14.8 point something. But if you have an A12 or A13 or A14 device and so on, you're going to have to wait for that. Now here on my website, you can go here to iOS signing status, select your device, and you're going to be able to see which iOS versions are signed. So 15.1 is currently signed and available. Now for 14.8 and lower, you're going to need to wait for an exploit that works on iOS 14. Not a huge problem because there probably will be one released anyways. However, if you're running 15.0 to 15.0.2 or even 15.1, that's where the problems begin. Because as I said in my other videos, iOS 15 introduces a brand new mitigation that makes it harder for jailbreak developers to remount the file system, which is necessary if you want to install Cydia and so on. So that would have to be patched as well. Right now for iOS 15, we rely on the following bugs to be released in the future. The first one is this one by Brightia, which has been demonstrated back on November 2nd. And this one got kernel read and write privileges, which would be definitely usable for jailbreak purposes. But the problem is it works on 15.1 as well, which is currently the latest version, which means that if we get to see this bug released, it will be after iOS 15.1 gets patched. Because right now, as it stands, this bug is very likely zero day. So of course they wouldn't release it because it works on the latest version. And the other one is this one here by 08TC3WBB, which is iOS 15 code execution zero day, but right now they don't have any plans to release it because they're still analyzing to see if it's a real vulnerability. So they posted in here, quote, still analyzing to see if this is a real vulnerability. Once finished, if it's worth, I will start a responsible disclosure process. Now responsible disclosure means that they're going to tell Apple about the vulnerability and wait for Apple to release a new iOS version in order to patch it. After that, they can make it publicly available. So if this turns out to be like a really exploitable bug, they will release it but in the future after they go through the responsible disclosure process. So with this in mind, what should you do if you're waiting for Uncover to be updated for your device? Well, at first use Blob Saver by Air Squared here. I made videos here on the channel in order to save your blobs. If you save your blobs, you are able to do some sort of free movement between iOS versions. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you can definitely go ahead here on the SEP and Basement chart and see exactly how to use Future Restore and which SEP versions are compatible with which devices. I keep a list in here with all compatible devices and so on. And I also have here a tutorial on how to use Future Restore to downgrade or upgrade unsigned iOS. It should be pretty detailed and there is also a video attached down below in here if you want to know exactly how to use those in order to downgrade or upgrade. But in short, if you save your blobs using R squared Blob Saver or any other tool, but this one supports A12 and 
newer. You're basically able to upgrade or downgrade when a jailbreak is available as long as there is an exploit for your iOS version, which is actually quite great. So if you're running 15.1, you're running the worst version that you can be on for the moment. It's the newest and of course it will take the most time to get a bug. Right now it's currently signed and nobody will release an exploit for a signed version because that would be releasing zero day. Even after it stops being signed, it can take a few months for a version to get a bug. So yeah, it's definitely not the best version, but if you're already there, there's not much you can do. However, if you're running 15.0, 15.0.1 or 15.0.2, definitely stay there and save your blobs for 15.1. If any of these vulnerabilities get released, you might be able to use that. But then if you're running 14.8 or lower, down to 14.6, do not update the iOS 15. Put off updating to iOS 15 for as long as you can, because once you do that, it complicates things for jailbreak purposes, at least for a while. So yeah, it's the waiting game once again. The Uncovered Jailbreak was updated finally to support 14.5.1 and lower after a long wait on 14.3. You can now jailbreak 14.5, 14.5.1, 14.4 as well. But that's unfortunately as far as the bug goes, so we need a new bug in order to support the newer versions like 14.6 and so on. So I will definitely keep you updated here on the channel with any news, but right now this is where we're at. We're waiting for a new bug to be released. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.